You're watching DCTV. Now here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. It's you, it's me, it's DCTV. It's you, it's me, it's DCTV. Uh huh. Let's start the show. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is you, it is me, it is NRD and H the P, and it is the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast, and it is time for the fall Thanksgiving week tradition. It is time for Survivor Series. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, because we have all survived another year of awkward booking with WWE, but we are still here because we still love it, and I won't give up on it. I won't. But uh, we are here to give our Survivor Series predictions, and it is to uh, crown the undisputed King of the Nerds. As we said, Nick never lost his crown. Me and Harold won, uh, became co-kings at All Out, and Ryan found the king of the uh, micro brawler broadcast crown. So uh, we are four kings, and uh, we, we've got a crown, an undisputed king. So last week at Full Gear, Nick went perfect. Nine for nine, ladies and gentlemen, I follow closely with seven, and then Ryan and Harold are at six right now. Coming back, guys. Harold, you look so sad, though. You can't be sad. I'm just so terribly sad. I was so excited, and I went with who I thought was going to win, but not who I wanted to win. What a mistake. Well, you know, well, you know what, Harold? When you yeah. went... When you want something and it actually is the something you want, you know what you need? What? A cold, refreshing Sam Adams, ladies and gentlemen. Whether it's fall, winter, spring, or summer, Sam Adams has the beer to raise for your friends. So it's now almost that like you need a Sam Adams to wash down what's going to happen this weekend at Survivor Series. Glug, 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 Dave. Cheers. So, yes, we are here with our Survivor Series 2021 predictions. As of recording, six matches on the card. It is the one night of the year. Raw and SmackDown go head-to-head in for uh, brand supremacy because don't even consider the Royal Rumble when they go head-to-head because that's a big match and that doesn't count. But so we will go around same order as last time. We will start with Harold, and then we will go in NRD rotating order for our picks. Like I said, at time of recording, Six matches on the card, and the tiebreaker will be determined in the five-on-five men's Survivor Series match. But we will start with the mid-card titles going head-to-head. We will go with the Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura versus the United States Champion Damian Priest. Harold, who do you have in this one? Well, I'm going to do what I did last time. I really want Shinsuke Nakamura because I love him. Wow! But... I really see that WWE is pushing the, I don't know if he goes by this, Archer of infamy, Damian Priest. I'm picking the, 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 the Damian Priest. Okay. Nick, who do you have? Uh, I'm going to have to agree with Harold. and I'm going to go Damian Priest. Okay. Ryan, who do you have in this one? Well, so I, I got six uh, correct last name, right, with AEW? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and get six this time too with WWE. I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking right now, Shinsuke does the burning kind of. Damien looks a lot like a guy I didn't care much for in Ring of Honor, but I'm going to go with Damien, the hot new thing. Well... I have one of these gentlemen's songs on my uh, in my iTunes library, and I'm not going with Shinsuke Nakamura for that exact reason. I am going to go with Damian Priest as well for that. So we all have Damian Priest. And next up, we will have the women's champions, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch versus the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. So much drama. Yeah, so much drama in this one, like... I'll say this. I have some actual intrigue in this because are they going to cooperate? Are they working us? Is it a shoot, brother? Who knows? Harold, who do you have in this one? It's a shoot, brother. Well, I don't know. I do not like Charlotte Flair. I'm so tired of her. But I really like 
this whole mean girl, I'm saucy, Becky Lynch. I like her sunglasses. I like her attitude. I'm going with the man, the champ, Becky Lynch. Plus, she's a mama now. The mom. Ryan, who do you have in this one? I can't one up anything Harold just said. Uh, I'll just make it quick and easy. Becky Lynch. All right. I am going to style, I'm going to profile, and I'm going to go with Harold's team, the blue brand. Woo! <laughs> the queen, Charlotte Flair. That is a dumb choice. You're a dumb choice. I know. <laughs> you know what's not a dumb choice, Harold? Sam Adams, cool, refreshing, winter lager. Well, no, that <laughs> correct, but I was also going to say, you know what's not dumb? Following Harold on all the platforms of social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all that good stuff. So, Nick, who do you have in this match? Uh, Well, this is the hard one. That's what but she said. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Charlotte Flair also. Only reason why. Is to screw Dave out of the car. Oh, this is nonsense. <laughs> this is this is the, the Thanksgiving screw job. I'm getting screwed. <laughs> this is exactly what he's doing. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're not gonna hear the end of it if this goes through. All right. Next up we have the uh tag team titles colliding. It'll be the raw tag team champions, RK Bro, Randy Orton, and Matt Riddle taking on the uh, the right and left hand of the head of the table, the Usos, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Harold, who do you have in this one? I was going to flip my flip-flops off, but I don't have shoes. And I hate Randy Orton, so I'm going with Usos. I I am gonna I'm gonna stick to my allegiance here of the blue brand, and I too am gonna go with the Usos. Nick, who do you have in this one? Uh, well, I got flip flops on. Uh oh, but I gotta go with the Usos. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. He's cheating. He's cheating. This is this is a this is a scandal. This is ridiculous. This is not fair to Flair. Ryan, who do you have in this one? Well, I'm like this guy. I don't, and and maybe Nick, even though it's founding father, I don't cheat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go different. These aren't sandals. These are my. Uh, oh God, Ryan's getting know. kicked off the broadcast. And uh, my feet aren't that big. I, I bought them a little you know, oversized. But I'm going RK, bro. Are those knockoff Crocs? They're Knox. I guess they are. No, no, it's by Crocs. Uh, gibbets by Crocs. Cheebies. Oh, you got no gibbets are the charms that you put on them. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Crocs shoes. If you want to sponsor me, I'll get my human Tom to get a pair of Crocs tattooed on his leg if you send him six pairs. Yes, Crocs. What if they send Crocs, seven? I wear Crocs every day for work. So, hey, I Crocs. Them. <laughs> I wear Adidas sneakers because I'm an adult. So, I clean pools. I don't want my feet to get wet. Disgusting. <laughs> So next up, we have the the big men slapping meat in the big uh, big championship match here. We've got the WWE champion, Big E, don't call him Langston, versus the head of the table, Joe Lemonhead's favorite person on the planet that is not Double J, the universal champion, Romaine Lettuce Reigns. Harold, who do you have in this one? No, J-Rocks. No, J-Rocks. I love Big E and I hate. Roman Reigns, I'm always going to pick b -b 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 big E. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. Yeah. Nick, who do you have in this one? Can't steal my answer. Uh, well, I think this is the easy one. I'm going Roman Reigns. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that this, this worked out this way. <laughs> Ryan, who do you have in this one? Uh, like Harold said, I don't know if I should go with my heart or what I think will happen. Um, I'm not a good strategist. I haven't been keeping track like Nick. Uh, I'm going to go with my heart. Always with my, with my Brett heart. I'm going Big E. And also, yeah, oh, baby. 
Right. When we win, we can eat bootios together. Sounds good. Gentlemen. And pancakes. Do, do you guys need a minute? <laughs> yes. I, I, I was going to go with Roman Reigns, but now I'm like torn. Do I go with it? Because like now I got to play like awkward defense. Oh. But y'all know that Roman, that Roman Reigns is going to win this match. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go Roman too. Dumb. He's the head of the this, table. This is a conspiracy theory against Head of the me. table at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the head of the table. So next up, we have the SmackDown, uh, the women's traditional Survivor Series five-on-five -five match. It will be Team SmackDown with Shayna Baszler, Sasha Banks, Shotzi Blackheart, Natalia, and a mystery opponent to be named this Friday versus Team Raw with Queen Selena, Carmella, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, and Bianca Belair. Harold, who do you have in this one? Uh, LOD? You know, I just want to say I got some, some dreams and some aspirations that will not come true, but my goodness, do I want Bailey to come back and just kick some butt but i don't think that's gonna happen because she's for real hurt and i'm realizing more and more that i love queen zelina but my god i hate this fake accent she's using now who had who i have no idea who you said was wrestling Raw or SmackDown. who has liv morgan team raw do you even stay yeah, up past eight o'clock on monday Okay, team so Har okay. Harold's going with Team Raw. Ryan, who are you going with? Unless, with? unless, unless, unless Team SmackDown is Tony Storm on SmackDown. It is a mystery opponent that they haven't named. I know, I know, but is Tony Storm on the SmackDown brand? Y yes, I think. Okay, SmackDown. I like Tony Storm. So you're going with SmackDown. SmackDown, blue, like me. Harold, dog puppet. Lock it in, everyone. Ryan, who do you have in this one? Um, I'm feeling there's a little more, not star power, uh, more top tier people on Team Raw, so I'm going Raw. I, I am going to go Team Raw as well. Go ahead, Nick, steal my oh, answer. I, I dare you. Well, there's great competitors on both teams, and I'm sure it's going to be a hard fought match, but I'm... I think Team Raw is going to take the win <laughs> because they're the better team, and they have they have Bianca Belair right on the Team Raw. Yeah, yep she's she's gonna she's gonna be the sole survivor of Team Raw. This is ridiculous. It's like I'm gonna be the sole survivor of the crown. Not if you not if you get run over by another car. <laughs> you can't run fast in Crocs. You should maybe rethink wearing Crocs for a little while, Nick. If you put your power strap on, you can run like the speed of light. Yeah, exactly. All right. Final match of the card will be the men's traditional Survivor Series five-on-five -five match featuring Team SmackDown, Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Xavier Woods, Baron Corbin, and a mystery partner versus Team Raw, which will be comprised of Lashley, Austin Theory, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins, Harold, who do you have? And what is the time of the match? That will be our tiebreaker. Uh, what a rush. <laughs> Not even close to a rush. So here's the thing. I love Xavier Woods. Because New Day Rocks, we already did this. But Kevin Owens and Finn Balor, uh, two of my super duper faves. So I don't really care. I don't think I'm going to win anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to say King Xavier Woods is going to lead the SmackDown team to victory. And the time is going to be 36 minutes and 36 seconds. 36 minutes and 36 seconds. Sure. Okay. Good. Then it's me, right? Uh, do I get my answer on this? Okay, so I'm going to go with uh, Team SmackDown to win this. 
with a time of 21 minutes and 37 seconds. And just for fun, just for fun, uh, I uh, I was checking the I was I was trying to think who could be the mystery opponent. So I brought up the Raw SmackDown roster, and if you notice, on teams on the SmackDown roster is none other than Scrap Daddy Adam Pierce. And WWE did some interesting trademarks with scrap metal this week. So I'm going to just, as a side note, screw it, let's have some fun, guess that Adam Pierce is the fifth man on Team SmackDown. No, it's Bailey. For the men. So? Hmm. It's Kenny Omega. <laughs> Nick, who do you have in this one? SmackDown. Well, this is a hard one also. Um, well, you know, I like the color blue. I think it's, it's a good looking color. Thank you. <laughs> so I think I'll probably go Team SmackDown. In my tiebreaker, let's see. Uh, three, three seconds. Okay. What a jerk. Really? <laughs> three seconds. He's going three seconds. <laughs> Ryan, by all means, please go. I ain't going to need it. <laughs> Not against me, Chief. <laughs> you might so, have got me. Harold's got different answers, though, I think. That's okay. I'm in, I'm in the hashtag anybody but Dave. <laughs> That's the whole Patreon group. Not my king. <laughs> <laughs> This right. is a conspiracy theory, and you are all going to be hearing from my lawyer about this. Okay, you can't so afford a lawyer. Oh, I can afford a lawyer, pal. Ryan, who do you got in this one? Um, it probably doesn't matter. I don't think it changed my answer, but I think the the lineup changed since I saw it last week. Do you mind telling me one more time? I got five rights. I need to get the sixth one right real quick. It'll be Team SmackDown, Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Xavier Woods, Baron Corbin, and a mystery opponent Baron against Corbin. Team Raw. It will be Lashley, Austin Theory, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins. Okay, changed a little bit. Um, so, side question, where's Kofi? You got two-thirds of the New Day. Why not, why not Kofi? Um, Maybe he'll be the mystery opponent. Huh? I'm going Team Raw. I'm always a little different. I think it picked a lot of raw going raw. All right. So, uh, and your time, your time, your time, oh. your time. Uh, I'm going to stick with what I originally had 33 minutes, 33 seconds. All right. So, that is our predictions for Survivor Series. Nick will be getting a, uh, a lawsuit from me very soon. Uh, so please let us know your picks in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to follow Harold on all the platforms, of social media. Don't forget to follow us on all the platforms of social media. Don't forget starting. Uh, uh, let me check the specific date here. Cause I want to get it right. I just want to make sure. Uh, Christmas is December 25th. Uh, not, not, it, no chief. It wasn't Christmas, but, uh, there's a black Friday sale going on, uh, for pro wrestling keys. And I believe it starts Tuesday. Uh, so you, uh, no coupon necessary, all wrestling nerd merchandise, 20% off folks, no coupon code needed. So get your Christmas and uh, Hanukkah shopping started. And, uh, yeah, so check us out pro slash the wrestling nerd broadcast, facebook.com slash WNRDB, Twitter at WNRDB, Instagram, the wrestling nerd broadcast, of course, join our Patreon, patreon.com slash WNRDB. And, uh, of course, right here on YouTube, don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, on behalf of the Founding Father, Mr. Nick Carpenter, the Microbrawler Scholar, Mr. Ryan Crossley, the Commissioner, Harold the Puppet, I am the one true and only king of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. Dave, see the voice reminding you to tell your mother to... Reminding you to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real enemy. Good night, everyone. I hate you, Nick. And God bless America. 